I need that pee. Give me that pee. Okay, we gotta get the pee. It's the only way to live. Oh man, I can't believe we survived right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are the Bomb Jack champions. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Get away, get away. Oh god, get the last bombs. Yes! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are waiting for our arcade machine to boot up here. We're going to be playing the classic game known as. Is it going to come? Is it going to show up? Uh, Bomb Jack. That's right. We are jumping into a Tekken classic. Interesting little bit of trivia. Did you know that Tekken was later renamed Tecmo? So you may be more familiar with games that they produced under the Tecmo franchise of games. But anyway, <laughs> so Bomb Jack here. Let's go ahead and insert a couple of quarters and hop in to it. This is it, Bomb Jack. It is a arcade platformer where you play as the guy named Bomb Jack. Um, I mean, we can see he's dressed up for the day. He's wearing a white cape, a red spandex suit, and he has blue hair. In fact, he styles his hair kind of like Wolverine. Oh, <laughs> damn it. I'm dead already. I played one practice round of this to make sure I had all the controls down before I decided to make this video, and I did quite well there. I didn't die once, got through the entire level, lickety split. Of course, now that people are actually watching and I am talking at the same time, of course I'm going to do far worse. What is that P? I want that P. I'm going to totally not get it, though. I bet. Okay. So I do not know what bad guys, if any, you can touch or if you can land on guys' heads or what. I guess we're going to be figuring it out as we go. Can we talk about this first level for just a quick second, though? I'm in, like, Egypt. Like, that is the Sphinx behind me. What is happening in the world of Bomb Jack? He's a dude who's going around collecting... So first of all, he's like a blue-haired wolverine running around... Oh, maybe that's not his hair. Maybe that's like a helmet. That would make a lot more sense. If it was like a cowl, like the way Batman wears a cowl. Okay, so we're going to say it's not his hair. Although maybe for speculation uh, purposes, we'll come back later and, and say maybe it is. But anyway, he was in Egypt trying to collect bombs around the Sphinx. Oh. <laughs> While these little, like robots and, and robotic birds and stuff try to stop him but why why are there bombs hanging around the sphinx it's kind of unusual what's happening in the world of old bomb jackie here that we got bombs hanging around the sphinx i don't know and why does why does bomb jack want all the bombs normally in video games characters are collecting things like coins they're not collecting things like you know bombs a bomb is usually a weapon in a game not uh, like a power-up to collect. Okay. People are like turning into aliens. There's like colored balls bouncing all over the place. Ooh, we got the P. Hey, it turned the bad guys into coins. Whoa. Okay, we got the invincibility power, I suppose. Get that. Bomb. He's like all happy when he collects the bombs. What does he do with them? Why are they there? Why Who's bombing the Sphinx? And now someone's bombing like ancient Greece? We got like the Acropolis or something behind us. I don't know, guys. Okay, that B didn't do... The B was not as cool as the P. Oh, man. He jumps really, really high. Like, to the point where it's almost a little bit of a problem. Um, you, you know what, actually? Okay, so... You know, tangent side. Or, or tangent time. Tangent side. I don't know what that means, but... Tangent time. Did you know that, like, Superman originally... Uh, didn't have powers to like fly or anything like that. So the original conception of Superman was Okay, when astronauts go to the the moon They can jump really really high and it's not because astronauts are like Super athletic. Well, I mean they are generally athletic people But the reason astronauts can jump really really high on the moon is that the moon has really light gravity compared to earth so humans are beings from a really dense gravity. I'm going somewhere with this, guys. Just just bear with me for a second. But humans are beings from a relatively dense gravity by moon standards. And when they get to the moon, they have super strength. They have the ability to jump over tall buildings. Is this, any of this sounding familiar? Do you know where I'm going with this? The original conception for Superman was that not that he had powers to fly or, 
um, had, you know, lasers coming out of his eyes, but literally he was just an alien who happened to come from a planet with greater gravity than Earth, and he could jump really high as if he were uh, an astronaut on the moon. So when astronauts go to the moon, they actually, their spacesuits are heavily weighted down, and even still they're like bouncing all over the place, easily bopping around. Um, if you, if you didn't have all that extra weight, and you were just a normal, you know, 200 pound dude and you went to space as an astronaut, you'd be jumping high into the sky. So all this is to say, look at how Bomb Jack moves here. Kind of reminds me of like the original conception of Superman. Like he kind of flies, but he doesn't really fly. He can just jump really high and then he floats. It's kind of an interesting mechanic actually. I didn't, oops, I didn't know if I would like it or not, but I kind of dig it. I don't know, it's um, now, there are some issues with the controls here, so I'm dying an awful lot. And you may think it's because I'm bad at games, and you wouldn't be far off the mark. But there's another... I love the little dance at the end. There's another explanation, which is that the controls are a little dodgy. They're not 100% accurate. So when, I, when I'm when i pressing jump and stuff, it's sort of... It's a little... It's hard to describe. It's a little stiff. But whatever, I'll take it. Um, I mean, I have to take it. We're gonna get all these. Oh god. Okay, get this one. Yeah, Bomb Jack. I don't know how far I'm gonna get in this game, by the way. These old games are notoriously difficult. Um, so now he's he's collecting bombs out in front of a castle. Interesting. Anyway, these old games are notoriously difficult, so I'm just kinda taking it as it comes. We'll see how far we can get. Too bad I can't insert quarters to continue after I die. Because that would allow us to get a lot farther. I need that P. Give me that P. Okay, we gotta get the P. It's the only way to live. Oh, man. I can't believe we survived right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We are the Bomb Jack champions. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Get away, get away. Oh, God. Get the last bombs. Yes. <laughs> Jeez, that was stressful. Okay, now we're in a metropolis. Imagine you just woke up one day and like your front lawn was like littered with bombs. Um, that would not be a good morning, let me tell ya. You'd, you'd have a lot of yard work. Essential yard work that you could not put off. Oh my god, that you would have to do. So this game is really just a dodge game. Unless I'm, unless I'm missing something, unless there's some kind of attack that uh, good old Bomb Jack can do. Oh man, it's so tedious to enter your name in these old arcade machines. Can you guys hear like the chunk 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 of the like arcade stick as I'm like moving it around? Yeah. You you need you need that experience if you're gonna play these old arcade games. You need the old chunky arcade stick. Make you feel like you're really in the arcade. So I need to develop a strategy here for like what bombs to collect in what order. I feel like the ones at the top are the ones that I should be like worrying about. Oh my god. Uh, from the get-go. The ones at the bottom, it's easy to fall down. It's hard to climb up. That's what I'm learning. So, oh my god. And these, the, the stupid birds to my left there, they chase me. I don't like that. Bomb Jack was a hero that never really, he never really flourished. You know, like Mario and Sonic and I mean, to a lesser extent, characters like Alex Kidd and stuff. I mean, Alex Kidd was not as well known as Mario, but he did okay. He did okay. Oh man, we are we are dodging like a mofo here. Oh, look at them all! I need that Pete. Yes. Okay, I'm not even gonna exact revenge on these guys. I'm just gonna get get the uh, the bombs. That P thing is kind of like the power up in Pac-Man that turns all the like ghosts into, well, it basically gives Pac-Man the brief ability to eat ghosts, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Oh my god. So a lot of a lot of this is really about outsmarting those, like, homing birds, because they, shit, they end up being the most problematic. Start. Thanks for clearing my lawn, Bomb Jack. There's some compost in the back if you won't mind getting to it afterwards. Oh, jeez. See, now the ones at the top, this is going to be brutal to try to get to. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I got stuck. No, game over. Uh, so this is going to be like... Okay, we're just going to be... Ah! 
as uh, on the high scoreboard there. Is this going to be another game where like you just see me play the first few levels over and over and over again? No. One of these bombs starts fizzing when you get them. I wonder what that means. Oh man, because I have no earthly idea. Boom. So. When I heard that in Bomb Jack you're running around collecting bombs, bombs are traditionally a weapon in most video games, and so I assumed that he would use like coins as a weapon or something like that, you know, like balance balance out the universe a bit. But I guess he's just all about bombs. He's a dude who has an unhealthy obsession with bombs. Some people have an unhealthy obsession with guns. Damn it. Bomb Jack has an unhealthy obsession with bombs. He just loves them. He's got his hand on as many bombs as possible. <laughs> They actually kind of look more like apples than anything. They don't look very bomb-like. Except for the sort of fizzing, I guess. Or like cherries. Maybe I could believe that they're cherries. Boom. Where did the stereotype of a bomb being a black ball with like a fuse coming out the top actually come from? Did it come from like Looney Tunes cartoons? Because I have never in my life seen a bomb that looks like that. Bombs, damn it. Bombs tend to be like sticks of dynamite or like C4 stuff. Even I think in like olden times, what, like I don't think a bomb was ever like the way they show them in cartoons and stuff. So I, I would love to know if anyone knows like the history of like animated bombs, if that is such a thing. Uh, if someone would like to let me know. Oh my God. How did I survive right there? I don't know. Oh yeah, like I'm ever gonna get that bomb. Oh my god, I need the pee is what I need. Holy crap, and I almost got it. No, 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 no. Oh god, oh god. He's zigging, he's zagging. Somebody help me. Give me the goddamn pee. <laughs> wow. Okay. So when you're in the air, oh my god. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. This is my nightmare. Somebody help me. I can't believe I'm still alive. Go, Bomb Jack. Don't let them ever tell you that you can't be what you want to be. Go get it, get it! <laughs> Holy crap! I can't believe I survived there. But okay, I learned another another technique in, in Bomb Jack here. When you're in the air, if you tap... I was just holding the jump button. But if you tap jump, you kind of do this like glide in the air. And it actually is pretty damn useful. So... Um... Oh my god. Go Bomb Jack. Shoot, I got cocky. Um, so, yeah, this game is all about diving and ducking and dodging and weaving. If I can just get up there. Oh my god. Yes! Damn! This is like oddly, this is more satisfying than I thought. I will give you that. Um, how are we supposed to get up there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I land on... I don't understand the bad guys in this game. Because like... Oh. Wait. Oh, if I hold up, I go even higher. Whoa, I'm like learning all kinds of stuff. Like out of necessity too. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Did you see that I dove between two of those, like, weird, like, scouting bombs? Wow, I'm good at Bomb Jack. I, I had no idea I had this natural skill. Oh, God. It's, it, ah! <laughs> Damn it. Huh, okay, so, Bomb Jack, more complicated than I originally thought. You can hold up to jump really high. You can press jump again in the air to kind of pause your jump. It kind of reminds me of like in Super Mario Bros, the new ones, how you can do like a twirl in the air and it gives you a little more air time. It's kind of like that. Hard to describe, but it's kind of like that. Okay, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. These early levels should be no problems. Yeah, that's easy. Like I can get all the way to the top of the screen now in a single jump. I feel like Bomb Jack just like unleashed his like inner potential. Oh, see? And I did like a, a pause in the air there to avoid that death. That would have gotten me if it had been like five lives ago. Okay, I dig it. I I'm understanding Bomb Jack now. I'm getting I'm getting the hang of this baby. Um Ah shoot, I'm getting cocky though. <laughs> 
Now, Bomb Jack here, this was a widely, widely ported arcade game, uh, as many arcade games were back in the day. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Ugh. Now, on the, the, the funny thing about in uh, the old days, when uh, arcade games were, like, ported to home console, I'm just, forget about the coins. I'm just trying to get to the farthest level. The funny game about the funny thing about arcade games back in the day when they were like ported to home cons home consoles or home computers is that they weren't all ported the same. So like these days, let's say that you're anticipating a new game, shoot, and it's coming out for both PlayStation and Xbox. Chances are it doesn't matter what system you buy it on really, uh, it will be pretty much the same game. Yeah, there may be some like PlayStation exclusive content. Or stuff like that but generally speaking the game is the same game but back in the day when games were ported to many different systems you know it wasn't like there were just two consoles to port to there were like dozens of like consoles and home computers and stuff oh my god oh my god and so basically they tended to hire like other companies to help with the porting of a lot of these things and oh my god <laughs> and uh, you would get widely different you know variations in like how good of a port the game was so for example bomb jack here um on the zx or the zx spectrum which was one of the first systems it was ported to it got like a 92 percent like it was it was done well right then the amiga version crap which came out several, I think three or maybe two or three years later. Anyway, um, that one only got six out of ten from uh, you know popular ranking at the time. Like basically, it went from like a ninety-two percent to like a sixty percent. And this is this is something that just sort of exists. If you go and you check out some of these old games and you just try different versions of them, you'll see pretty big variations between different ports. So this was, yeah, a, a widely ported game. Suckers. Widely ported game, but some ports were better than others. I think the arcade version is the definitive version, so, you know, if you're interested in Bomb Jack here, I would definitely check that out. I, so far, am having a much more fun experience with Bomb Jack than I thought I would. It's weird to say, but I didn't, I, I just thought, okay, here's another arcade game. I know it's going to be difficult with convoluted controls and so on and so forth. But so far, I'm really enjoying Bomb Jack here. Especially now that I'm a pro at these controls. Look at that! Weaving in and out. Although nothing beats those those few lucky escapes I got near the beginning there. So something else that I'm noticing too is that these androids or whatever they are that are like falling Oh god, oh god, the one that just killed me. So they walk around on a platform and eventually when they fall, when they land on the ground, they like spawn different enemies. So I guess you don't want them hitting the ground, but it doesn't really matter when you're boss like that and you just dominate the level. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it's interesting with ports, they're now near identical across all systems. And that's good for, like, consistency, but, um, it, it takes away a bit of, well, I don't know if it takes away, but it, it's just different. There's, it's probably for the best that games are more consistent. But I guess the downside is, if one company produces a crappy port of a game, they're all just going to be crappy, because pretty much they're all the same these days. So back in the day, if this game sucked on Amiga but was good on the ZX Spectrum, you know, you could uh, you could still find good versions of this, even if one port was bad. Nowadays, if you get a bad port, it's just bad. But although, you know, like ports these days are almost identical to their counterpart. It's weird to think like back in the day, like arcade machines were like state of the art, and you couldn't, even if you paid money, you couldn't play a game as good as an arcade game in your home. You just couldn't. But nowadays, it's like home computers are so powerful that like you could easily play a game at home, like almost any game that you could shoot. Shoot, I think I got trapped again. Almost any game that you could play in an arcade, if you could even find an arcade today, you could play at home for realsies. Man, it seems like round six is as far as I can get. 
let's give this let's go ahead and give this one more shot have one more credit um and we'll kind of do a bit of a wrap up as we go but i guess we kind of looped back to egypt so I, I suspect that the backgrounds to this game don't change too much from the ones we've already seen it's pretty much just whoa give me the b give me the b give me the p oh my god i'm like chasing that thing all over the place okay forget it we don't need it I suspect that the like the platforms and position of bombs and stuff are changing, but the backgrounds aren't. I would still love to know like what the original programmers like why they were like, well, clearly we have to have like you know the Sphinx, and then I guess we'll put like obviously the next step after that is like ancient Greece and so on, and uh, that will kind of round out Bomb Jack. Then we'll have a castle and a city, and we're all good. Bomb Jack has visited all the major, all the important parts of the world at that point. Bomb Jack never really became like a franchise though. I think I, I was saying that early in the video, the way like Mario and Sonic have. I don't think Bomb Jack, I think he had a couple of games, but you know, he's kind of faded into obscurity. He's he's not as, as prolific as he once was. He's hung up the proverbial white cape and has stopped hunting bombs. Kind of settled down. Maybe hunts the odd firecracker just for old time's sake, but you know. Oh man, I jumped into that one. Seriously. Oh man, I'm, I'm never gonna be my record. One life left. Brutal. You really do need that P to kind of like unlock the map and give you like a just one second. If you can get that like, those like three or four seconds near the end of the level, you can usually like clean everything up that you need to clean up. Cause like you can collect a majority of this stuff. Oh God, like this, just kind of dodging and weaving. But then at a certain point, there's like a... Oh, God! <laughs> I was going to try and dodge really, uh, really aptly, but I, I failed utterly. Okay, let's throw in another quarter or two, because uh, I haven't even started to wrap up yet. Now, one thing I was going to ask. So before I give you my thoughts on Bomb Jack here, uh, Bomb Jack... Is, so this, this is a guy, I presume his name is Jack... And he loves bombs. And I was thinking about this, but I'm Gaming Jay. I'm a dude named Jay who likes games. And so I thought this was kind of funny, and it made me think, what are you guys? So let's say, for, for instance, your name is, like, Ted. And you have to, like, come up with a word to go in front of your name. What would that word be? <laughs> and I, I thought this was, would be kind of a funny question. So, like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm Gaming Jay. Uh, this is Bomb Jack. What would you guys be? Would you be like, you know, uh, Netflix, Netflix Mary, or uh, would you be car enthusiast uh, Carl, or would you be, I don't know, late on your taxes Dina or something? I don't know, like, what is, what is one word that kind of describes some kind of hobby or aspect about you uh, in the same way that Bomb Jack uh, defines good old Jack here. Oh man. We are kind of owning right now. Although this, this is kind of a nightmare. Oh man, that was like a ninja move. Holy crap. This game is kind of fun. Like when you get the hang of it, this, this, you know, it's not like my favorite game or anything. But as I say, I think there's more going on in this game than I initially was expecting. Whoa! You were lucky. You can enjoy one more play. Boom! Thanks? Okay, can I do it now? Oh, just let me skip the level! Sweet! <laughs> That's what I like to see. Okay, we're totally gonna get this P. Go, Bomb Jack! Oh no, you missed one! Oh no, Bomb Jack, you fool! Oh man, he he definitely got he floated over there. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, we have a chance to redeem ourselves. Okay. Here it is, guys. So if you like tap that button hardcore, you can like really float. I feel like that's one of the secrets of Bomb Jack. Oh my god. And you gotta use like the up and the down. Oh shoot. To like uh, go up and down quickly. Okay, we got this level. We got this level. Oh man. Okay, what do you think's next? Ancient Greece, right? That's the next one. 
Man, we made it to level 7. Okay, I, I fulfilled my bomb jack quota for the day, yeah. It's just gonna cycle through the same environments. But that's okay. Oh yeah. Don't mess with bomb jack, baby. You'll get a jack attack. And you won't like it. Oh man, we're just flying through these levels. Ain't nothing. Alrighty, let's start wrapping up bomb jack here. So what do we learn here today, guys? I think we have learned that when it comes to collecting bombs, you just gotta grit your teeth, uh, jump as high as you can, and believe in yourself. That's a little bomb jack. Oh my god. Little bomb jack uh, motivational speech for you. Oh jeez. We're totally passing this level too, though. Mark my words. Okay, quick, very quickly, pros and cons of this game. The pros are that it is easy to pick up, um, it has a remarkably, like, it's, okay, it's a little, little stiff in terms of the controls. I already said that. But even though it is, it is actually not too bad in terms of the controls, ultimately. And the, the, the screen, oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. The screen gets flooded by enemies, yes. But once you get the hang of it, like, I'm on round 10. I've never played this game my whole life. I don't actually think it's that bad for controls. In fact, it's one of the the, the more intuitively control. Whoa, whoa, what the flip was that? The freaking alien ship flew out of the corner of the screen, just murdered us for no reason? What the heck? It was like, yo, you're doing too good. We said you could have one free play. You, you weren't allowed to beat the game. So, okay. Well, we got we got pretty damn far. We got much farther than I ever thought I would in Bomb Jack here. Um, so yeah, it's it's. For what it is, I think this is a pretty, pretty well-made game, pretty interesting. I mean, the cons are that the gameplay is pretty repetitive, all things considered. Um, definitely this is from an era where it was like, when you played a game, you were trying to like hone a skill. And Bomb Jack really makes you start to feel like you have the ability to duck and dive and dodge through all these guys. It is, it is a very skill-based game. Um, I kind of like it, but I could see how this would get kind of repetitive for people. So, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. It's, oh, geez. <laughs> then you get cocky like me and you die. Uh, what other cons does it have? Uh, like, it's very simple. The levels are going to get repetitive. Um, you know, is this a game you should play before you die? Um, I would put this on, I wouldn't say... 100% you must, but I would definitely put it up there in terms of like, it's a really good example of an arcade game that like actually was pretty fun. Or it was actually, it has like a really fun sort of gameplay loop. Kind of reminds me of like Tapper a little bit, only even a little more fun than Tapper. I do wish that the screens wouldn't get so convoluted so quickly, because like they just get so packed, like what are you supposed to do at a certain point? But that said, um, yeah, it, it, it does have this sort of fun element of, like, trying to dodge everything. I think they just maybe throw too much crap on the screen too quickly, and they don't have enough going on in their levels, but, yeah. So, yeah, it's, you know, I made fun of Bomb Jack at the beginning of this video, but now I'm kind of, like, sad that, you know, Bomb Jack isn't, like, an ongoing franchise. It's, like, still wildly successful, because it is kind of interesting. It's kind of fun. So there we go. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I will be back in a couple days with another video and another game for my ongoing quest to play through all the games in the book, 1001 Games, just play before you die. And also, I have been Gaming J. What's your name? And not only your name, but what, what verb or word would you use to describe yourself before your name? I'm kind of curious about that, so let me know in the comments down below. Um, and, uh, yeah. Until we meet again, guys, take care of yourselves. Keep playing those old retro games because they are the best. And uh, peace. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah.